Good afternoon, Floss Tube. It is Mandy and Stitches coming to you with another update. Say hi, Stitches. Say hi. We'll go ahead and let her down. Um, so today is Saturday, December 5th. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, I really appreciate you checking me out. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for returning. My hair is going a little crazy. I am in need of a haircut but haven't done anything about doing so. So I guess we're just gonna have a little bit of a crazy hair day today. Doesn't matter, I'm not planning on going anywhere. I uh, hope to be able to get my tree put up today. If I don't do it today, I'm not sure when it'll happen. Uh, so I've got a lot to show today. Um, so I know a lot of people have talked about being in semi-sane stitchers. Uh, They've got an event this month called Whip Wranglers. So there is, you were to put a list together of 20 whips. You can repeat if you don't have 20 whips. I realized I'm just shy of 20, but I didn't quite have 20 to put in there. So I do have some repeated in there. Um, so basically you roll a 20 sided die to figure out which of the 20 whips you're gonna work on. And then you roll a six sided die on to figure out how many stitches you're going to do on it. So three different levels I ended up, <laughs> somehow I managed to sign up with the difficult level, which would be that dice roll times 100 doubled. Um, before I finished the first roll, I realized what I'd get myself into. So I, uh, I did end up switching to the medium. So it's just the six sided die roll times 100. So up to 600 stitches. So just a process to get you working on whips um, to uh, wrangle the elves. So roll it once, times your die, there you go. Easy is the times 100, you know, your roll die times 100 um, halved. So, um, so the second time that you end up picking that project, uh, then you do half the project, um, half your normal, whatever level you're on. So I'm on the medium, so it would be half of a roll die times 100. Third time, you're done so, for that particular whip. Uh, so because of that whole project, long story, um, I've been working on a ton of different projects. So I think there's three different projects that I'm actually not even gonna show today that I have worked on. I'm planning on doing a whip parade in the next few weeks. So we'll just, rather than showing um, all kinds of whips today just to turn around and do a whip parade here in the next couple weeks. I'm just gonna save those until um, I actually do my whip parade. Um, so today I've got two new starts, I've got a restart, and then I've got like five whips. So we're, um, we'll show all of that. Um, so I figured you know, not a whole lot was done on those. So you'll see those in again in a couple weeks. So um, the sugar skull uh, that was out of a magazine, I put a, I put a good bit of work on that, but um, we'll save that for the whip parade. Um, one time, I, or I've shown a few times the um, pumpkin grid that I'm doing. It's just a pumpkin with a um, border around it. Um, again, I'll show that in my whip parade and then boo friends. It's got a couple cats and pumpkins and stuff. So I did work on that. I'll just show it in my whip parade. Um, but yeah, so I've had a busy stitching week. So, um, so we'll go ahead and dive right into it. Funny story to tell you later, but I'll end that because not necessarily everyone, um, will want to, um, hear about that, I guess. So, um, but yeah, so we'll go ahead and just dive right in. My new, um, the first new start that I'm going to show, I put this on my Whip Wranglers list as a new start. You could do whips or um, <clears throat> new starts. So I hadn't started this yet. I've been wanting to, um, but it is Stone Street Stitch Works Book House. Um, I've got it in this, there we go. I love this piece, just absolutely love it. I love the saying and uh, big house and trees. And uh, the trees are actually made out of open books. You can see those, so really cool. Love this piece. I am stitching it on a piece of cream Ada. Um, it's an 18 count Ada. And there 
here's our start. So I, um, this is literally just a hundred stitches when I rolled it for my uh, whip wrangler piece. I, it just rolled a one. So I just did a hundred stitches. So, um, I didn't iron it or anything, but it's just, um, starting the, uh, it'll be the dark pieces around I guess just in between the windows so yeah that is my start and uh, Needleminder is from Abby uh, top top not stitcher shop <laughs> mouthful uh, so then my next new start is from the Forbidden Fiber Co. Advent Box. I uh, spoiled myself with that this month, so I have been uh, opening that advent. It is a 24-day uh, advent box. I um, I contemplated doing uh, Flossmas videos, doing daily videos, but I just I decided not to this uh, this year, so maybe next year. And so uh, opening something each day. Um, Oh, so the, I was trying to think of what day one was. Day one was the fabric. I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, and then starting on day two, the even days will be a portion of the pattern and the floss, which I didn't even get that out. We gotta get that. Uh, so very, very pretty colors. So the material, I ended up going with a 14 count Ada. It's been a long time since I worked on 14 counts, um, but I'm loving it. So, Leanne at uh, Forbidden Fiber dyed the fabric, and then she's dyed the floss. And so, oops, losing a piece here. So this was in day two. I'm not going to show the pattern because it's literally just the pattern, and uh, I just I don't wanna, I don't have any preview pictures of it or anything. Um, but the first day, uh, so day two, the floss was mistletoe. Again, it is from Forbidden Fiber, and oh my goodness, is that pretty! So it's a really really pretty green. Uh, I have been stitching individual stitches for the most part. Um, it is slightly variegated from darker to lighter of this, I guess, same shade, but um, just to make sure that I'm getting that really pretty color effect. And, oh, you can see that modeling is really well. Um, it's not overly, like, the dark splotches and all of that kind of stuff. It's just really pretty. Um, and this is going to be a huge piece. I think it was a like a fat quarter or something. And I don't think I'm gonna need, uh, from the day four's patterns, it looks like the um, bottom isn't much further than this. So it's not gonna be a huge piece. Uh, and so each, uh, the day one pattern, or the first release of the pattern was one color. And then day four had another um, color added to it. I can tell that there's going to be a house over here. And that's, what we've got stitched up so far. So I do have on the pattern, this is going to go all the way across. I think it might start going back down to the next. I just haven't stitched it yet. I started stitching this on my lunch break yesterday and then I did the rest of this last night. So not quite sure what these are gonna be. I do know that there's going to be like a um, vase right here that the vine is growing out of. So I'm just using my uh, positivity rules needle minder for that. Needed one, that was handy. Uh, so then that came in the next day's worth of um, day four yesterday uh, was garland. So it's a really, really deep green. Almost brown. Sorry, not green. Really deep brown. So, very pretty. Have not started using that yet, but I am um, loving working with uh, the mistletoe. So then day two i believe had a uh so in between all of the pattern and floss pay um days are going to be little stitchy notions or something of some sort so day two um uh, day three i guess it would have been is this uh floss card and a ruler so pretty cool I haven't just started using that yet and then today's was this really adorable little needle it's magnetic and there was even a needle inside needle holder. 
So very fun. Loving the Advents. I do have the um, Black Needle Society box, but that will start on the 13th. So I'm going to show my next, um, the next project is actually a restart. So you have not, if you've been with me from the beginning, you would not have seen this project since my very first project, um, I'm sorry, my very first video, which was the, um, was a whip parade. I, um, reason I've restarted this is because the pattern is chock full of, uh, fractional stitches and I'm an Ada stitcher. You can do fractional stitches on Ada, no problem. I'm just not liking how they're looking. So I'll show you the original and then I'll show, um, actually the restart is just the border. So I haven't even gotten to any of the fractional stitches yet, but the project we're talking about is summer stained glass from Ursula Michael. This is a seasonal, so I have all four of them and I love them. I want to be able to get them hung up on the wall and I just, but I've not been happy with how these fractional stitches are looking. So, um, the original time I worked on it, or my original start was done on a piece of 18 count white Ada, which I love my 18 count. So really pretty. That's as far as I got. And we'll fold it up here so you can, all of that is fractionals, not all, but like all this line work. That's pretty close of what I can get. So there we go, away from the light. So you can see this line work in here, that's fractional stitches and in here. And I just, I'm not liking how it's looking. So in between like this, area here is going back and forth between solid X's and then fractional stitches. And so this is pretty full. I'm sure there was, yes, this was full of fractionals, but it's filled in. So it's not looking so bad, but the way this banner is looking, it may not be showing up as I'm seeing it, I guess on, um, on camera. So to you, you guys may be saying, Hey, that looks great. Keep going. And yes, you can absolutely 100% do fractional stitches on Ada. So if anybody's new, please don't let me steer you into a direction of you can't do fractionals on Ada. That's not it at all. Personal preference is I'm not liking how they're looking on here. And so I wanted to expand out a little bit. And so I thought maybe I would give a different material a try. So again, I have not gotten to an area with fractionals yet. Um, so my restart, this is 28 count Monaco where I can, um, start doing some of those fractionals where you can do over one stitching. So again, it's, um, you're not seeing any fractionals as of yet. I just wanted to show that I'm starting it and I'm hoping that I'll like it better. This is some really soft material. It's, um, seems like it's going to be pretty cool to work with. I adapted to being able to figure out how to stitch two over two quite quickly. So I'm not, that wasn't an issue there. Um, but yeah, so that's my newest adventure. It is a restart. So hopefully I can, um, actually start wanting to stitch on it because that's been the biggest thing is I not liking how those fractional stitches have been looking on that Ada has made me just not want to work on it. So I haven't worked on it all year. So this past week I decided to restart it and uh, hopefully, you know, I can start working back into the area where there's going to be the fractionals and I can start figuring that out. And I actually saw a post in a Facebook group this week that I guess I was thinking that those fractional stitches that I would just be doing the one leg like I do on Ada, just, you know, one portion of it. Whereas over, t um, doing those stitches over one, I'll actually be able to do a full stitch. So I'm hoping once I get to there that I'll start liking that a little bit better. By no means am I wanting to switch over from Ada because I love Ada. I have a lot of, um, not a lot. I'm starting to collect a good bit of, um, Ada for my stash. So I really like Ada. I'm not planning on fully uh, switching over, but I wanted to give something else a try and see if maybe that'll help me. So, um, 
So we'll just go ahead and move on to my next one because that's really about all I had to say about that one. <laughs> um, so the next one that I'm going to show is the um, Cottage Garden Samplings number nine in the Songbird Garden series. There is Beauty and Simplicity. I absolutely love this piece. Um, so since I saw it, I might have just shown it last week. I don't remember. Might have been just a couple weeks ago. I've, um, I got this whole leaf area filled in so I'll have to start moving my way up to get to that flower um, but for the most part all of this is done finally it has been there's been a lot going on with it so so there we go this is stitched on a piece of 16 count uh, fiber on a whim uh, in the color slate another Abby Tapnat sti uh, stitcher shop needle minder somehow um, skip over my words there with saying that um so really bad hoop marks on here so I, it's obviously still in the hoop so um this let's see where some of this green is done in weeks dye works lucky uh, so i have done that pretty much individual stitches as i've gone along to uh like fill in that green so I, uh, coming along on this. This was my new year, new start this year. It will not be done by the end of this year, and that is okay. I have been thinking about what I want to do for my, or to do a new year, new start for 2021, and I have not decided on what I want to do. We'll see. Uh, so because of whip wranglers, I ended up, um, putting a whip on here that I have not worked on again since the um I don't think I've worked on this since that original whip parade no that may be a lie maybe it was just back in the summertime that I worked on this I don't remember so anyways it's been a while since you've worked um since you've seen it it is called spooktacular treat bag the designer is Alma Lynn Hayden this was in the uh, September 2013 press stitch and need to work magazine uh, working copy photo just from the magazine and so uh, this week I finished out that beast of a moon that moon is now completely done bat is back stitched and everything and so I have this little flag done I did even get the back stitching done this morning that says boo across it and then I started working here on this funky tree this is um stitched on a piece of 18 counts I want to say it's like in a color called pewter or something. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've looked at what color name it is. So there we go. So uh, this this moon took a while. Uh, when I picked it up, I didn't have, I had a good start on it um, this time. So I was able to get that completely finished. Uh, like I said, I got the little flag started. So I still have to do the little spider that's stitching on it and that back stitching. So I'll just do all that together at once. But um got that done I've been working on this today so obviously my thread is still hanging there um, I needed to do 300 stitches on this now for the whip wranglers so I am more than halfway um, so when I get this uploaded I'll get back to this so I can finish that up so like I said I was working on that tree this is such a fun little whimsical piece um, so there will be a little black cat on it of course and some pumpkins so I love stitching it I can stitch on Halloween stuff anytime so like Michelle Bendy says Halloween 365 and uh, I've been keeping my threads for this piece in a bags plus uh, bendy flip do a little London still have the card in there <laughs> but love this handy all right so like I said last week I'm uh, not dealing with um editing right now i have apparently have too much stuff on the ipad and stuff so it's not liking me doing editing pictures so we're just going to uh show the picture on my phone the uh another project that i worked on is shooting star by carolyn manning designs i'm stitching this on a piece of 16 count white ada two strands full cross and i am working just in this upper left hand corner You guys have seen this not that long ago. Um, so when I've been working on it last, I've really focused on 
uh, these teals. So very, very pretty colors there. And um, you can see I've got red thread still there. I was starting to bring some of that down. So I'm loving this piece. It's such a good piece that I can be able to just kind of get in a groove and it's a going to be a great piece to have on the uh, Whip Wrangler list for being able to do a bunch of stitches at any one time um, because you can just get into such a groove of knowing, you know, exactly how many stitches are in a um, in each little spot or whatever. So then the... Uh, Next whip, again, another one that you guys haven't seen in a little while, but I did have somebody uh, comment not too long ago, hint, hint, that they wanted to see it. So um, this is Mini Dark Goddess, Heaven and Earth Designs. Artwork is by Carol Cavallaris. I'm loving these colors. I'm still just uh, up in this um, corner up here that is a large splotch of white, and that's really what I've been working on. So it is... Uh, DMC 3, 3865, so just that super white. But had to show it anyways because I know someone's been wanting to see it, so I'll go ahead and show my update. So since I worked on it um, most recently, I put in a bunch of this really pale purple here and then been working on putting in, I've been working these columns in white there and uh, going like this. Uh, this needle minder is from um, Gina's Unique Needle Minders uh, Facebook group. This uh, Q-Snap, I put together a uh, 8x8 and an 11x11, and it basically made a 9x9. <laughs> so uh, the way I had like the extension pieces put together or something, I it just did not make an 11x8. It made more of a 9x9 square. So not mad about it. I like it. It gives me a um, great working space. So... I did buy the um, really pretty um, replacement clamps. There's a set of two of them. I must have the other one on another project. I don't remember what Q-Snap that was on, but I was able to buy a two uh, replacement clamp set from, um, where did I get those from? Stitches and things out of Penton. So yeah, that was fun. And that is all of the whips that I have, my works in progress. I did have a couple of pieces of haul, if you will hold on one quick second. It's just right here on the other side of the camera. So I know the last few uh, videos I talked about the Michigan uh, Cross Stitch Group having uh, these little prompts that there were three prompts a week. And uh, so for the month of November, they were doing a prize drawing and I ended up winning. So <laughs> I guess I'm really going to have to start stitching on something else besides Ada because I want a piece of linen. So uh, this is in colorway French lace. So that was pretty exciting. I wasn't going, I was not doing all of those prompts to go for the prize. I wanted to just, I was actually finding uh, prompts that projects that fit the prompts really easily and so it was a great way to uh, see some quick progress. So um, the only other little bit of haul that I did is um, I placed an order with Abby Tapnat and um, I was thinking that if there was a sale or not but there wasn't so I just on her website and found some stuff I wanted to get. So the first one is Lindy Stitches. It is called We Three and I love it. One of her most recent designs. I haven't taken it out of the plastic so it's quite shiny. So um, the saying says, when shall we three meet again in thunder, lightning, or in rain? And the little black cats are adorable. Of course. So I guess the saying is based off of um, a saying from Macbeth. This needle minder was a little freebie from Abby, so thank you to her. That was really cute. And then I got the uh, Waxing Moon Designs Winter House Trio. This really pretty little houses. Well, maybe not so little, but... Spied it on the website and just thought it'd be fun to stitch. And then this one I was enabled by um, Laura uh, Stitching by the Shore. And uh, she finished this not too long ago at Satsuma Street Halloween cap. When I saw that Abby had it, I had to get it. So, so cute. I'm going to have to 
find some really pretty material and stitch that on. So no plans on when I'm actually going to start that. Um, so in her last video a week ago, so not just um, Laura's video yesterday, but it was a week ago, she had uh, talked about some um, Stone Street Stitch Works uh, patterns that she bought. And she got this one uh, called Cobblestone Street. I don't have the picture of it handy at the moment, um, but I did end up getting that myself. So um, she's enabled me on a couple of projects there. So I think we may end up selling uh, the Cobblestone Street one at some point. Don't know if we'll do that this year. Um, so it might be next year. Uh, so looking around, I've got a lot of stacks. I think that's all cross stitch related um, plans. I'm still just working away on that uh, Whip Wrangler. Um, for the most part, I just would finish one um, section of that where, you know, one roll of how many stitches I did, rolled again, started right in. There was one night this week that I worked on four different projects. So one of which was that new, um, the restart of the um, stained glass. So, so that's my plans. Um, I, you guys should know by now I don't really plan out a whole lot. So funny story, personal life, um, personal stuff. That's all I have for stitching and then we'll wrap it up. So um, speaking of the devil, she caught her first mouse with me this week. Yes, we had a mouse in the house this week. I know she doesn't like me holding her like that. I was sitting uh, working one morning. It was maybe 8.30. Heard a sound in the kitchen and all of a sudden she comes waltzing out of the kitchen with something hanging out of her mouth. She caught a mouse. I live in an apartment complex. Those who have been uh, continue watching me lately know that I live in an apartment. So no clue where this thing came from. I'm hoping it was a one-off thing and that I don't have more. <sighs> they just, mm, yeah. I don't like them. Um, she did not actually kill the thing. Um, so when she set the her prize down at my feet, it ran off. And uh, so ultimately I ended up being able to open my um, patio door, put her um, in, a, in the bedroom and got the mouse to actually just run right out the patio door and it can go live its merry life somewhere else, not in my place. So that was fun. She had quite an excitement. I uh, posted a picture on uh, Instagram of her just zonked out on my bed uh, that morning after her adventures of hunting a mouse. So. That, that, no, I don't like mice. So that's been it. I've just been working this week, hanging out, not doing a whole lot. So um, we're going to get back to stitching. I hope everyone has a wonderful stitching weekend and uh, keep stitching and be safe. We'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.